Exactly. But I can't let you pass beyond this point. Is that a lift? You ignored my warning. How much more trouble do you plan to give me? I am the Overlord! You do know that, right? Did you think I'd just stand aside while you're having your way with another world? I'll tell you one more time. Destroy the artifact in your body! I told you I can't. Senelith, tell me! Why do you need to gather so much magic power? You aren't trying to become the Overlord, right? I'm not going to answer that. But... This is your last chance. If you back off now, I'll let you leave unharmed. Don't be stupid. We will defeat you and then destroy that artifact. And we won't back down until we do! Then I guess I'll just have to give it my all to force you. Wait! Cecily! What are you do- Big Brother, I'm sorry. Xenolith, please release all of the angels. I can't. If they stop now, the Netherworld will crumble in an instant. Then take my angel power instead. Cecily! If you do that, you'll die! That's okay with me. It's my job to find all the missing angels. If Big Brother can return the angels, I'm sure the Seraph would help us. He might even find another way to save the Netherworld, right? Don't be stupid! I'm not being stupid. I just don't want you to die. You remind me of our mother. Like how you're trying to give up your life to save mine. But don't worry. I won't lose to this guy. Believe in the power of the Overlord. Believe in your big brother. Big brother. How was the wait? I won't go easy on anyone who tries to destroy my artifact, understand? <laughs> I never ask you to. And you better not take me too lightly. I won't lose this battle. I'll put everything I have into destroying you. I see. You are quite determined. But determination alone will not bring you victory. If you still want to fight me, I'll show you my full power. You will see absolute despair. And you'll never think of fighting me again. <laughs>
Rainbow Trout! Magic is only that strong. Laharo, I think he couldn't fight at full strength because Etna was here. Please, I don't care if I die. Just don't destroy the artifact. Are you stupid? Don't be so selfish. The Netherworld won't return to normal unless we destroy it. Otherwise, why would we have fought you in the first place? I know it doesn't make sense, but please... Please tell us, Xenolith. Why do you want to protect it? If magic power is all you wanted, you wouldn't have put your life on the line like you did. <sighs> what? For my sister. Sister? Do you mean Edna? Ever since she was born, she has always had immense magic power. But because she was so strong, she has always been at risk of being killed by her own overwhelming magic. Which is why I risked everything with the artifact of absolute death, so it can drain her magic and save her from imminent death. So the reason you used the artifact was... Oh! To save your sister! To save Etna! What? Don't be stupid! Prince, let's destroy that artifact already! Wait, Etna! If it's destroyed, all the magic it absorbed will return to its owners! Oh! That means all the magic that could have killed you will go right back into you! Right? That's fine. It'll just make me really strong. I knew you'd say that. Which is why I didn't tell you earlier. You don't know the terror of your own magic. Although you've grown, you'll still be crushed by it. Interesting. I'm not as weak as you think I am. You got that? Now hurry up and give me the artifact. If you really are my brother, then stop making a fool of yourself! Edna! Xenolith, I can't grant your wish. I'm going to destroy the artifact. Very well. If you must, then please kill me when you do. I can't handle seeing my little sister suffer anymore. I won't kill you. I need you to explain to the Seraph everything you did. You're a heartless overlord. Now I shall destroy it! What the hell? Prince, the artifact is absorbing magic at a much faster rate now! He's gone! Oh! I sense immense power coming from up ahead! I think Xenolith is... Damn it! I should have been more careful! I didn't think the artifact itself would resist! Let's go! Damn it!
What is this? I guess this is where all the angels are injecting their angel powers. Big Brother! Over there! We... need to destroy the... Choice. We have to fight Xenolith again. And this time, we have to try to kill him. But... but he's your brother! That doesn't matter. If we don't kill him, he's going to kill us. Prince! Etna! Before we defeat that thing, I have one order to give you! What are you talking about? When we destroy the artifact, and you get your magic back, don't die! These are your orders from your overlord! You must obey them, understand? Big Brother... Uh, I... refuse. What? Why won't you just obey me? Did you really think I would follow such a ridiculous order? Well, you sure picked a great time to be your usual insolent self. Fine. After everything's over, if you're still in one piece, I'll grant you any wish you want. Are you sure about that? That's a little too extreme. An overlord doesn't lie. Oh, but you just can't wish to become overlord. Well, that's not quite any wish I want, now is it? Shut up! So, yes or no? Fine. Even if you didn't order me to, I wouldn't have died anyway. Now we just have to stop that thing. The netherworld belongs to me, the overlord. I won't let some artifact do whatever it wants. This is it!
did you destroy it? The artifact of absolute death. Oh, Xanalith, you've got your consciousness back. Stay back. But if we don't help you, your body is going to... Don't mind me. My sister.
Once Xenolith's artifact was destroyed, the netherworld reverted to its usual state. The kidnapped angels were released. After the Seraph heard what happened, relations between the netherworld and Celestia resumed. However, Sicily's sin of harming other angels got her banished from Celestia, so she decided to live with Laharl in the netherworld. Edna had fallen into a deep sleep. She did not reply to outside stimuli, but Laharl and the others all believed she would recover. A few months later, is spreading nicely throughout the netherworld, Prince Laharl, dude! At this rate, it shouldn't be long before the demons accept you as the overlord, dude! The demons are all finally accepting my greatness! All right, organize a parade to celebrate! Big Brother, we've already had 30 parades. Do you really want to have another one? The number of times we've had one doesn't matter. We're gonna have another one because I want another one! So, even though everyone accepts you as Overlord now, you still haven't changed. Huh. No matter what happens, I'll always be like this. Now and forever! Okay, you're right. That's more your style anyway. Oh, but no parade, okay? You promised to take me sightseeing around the Netherworld today, remember? What? I don't remember saying any such thing! You can play dumb all you want, but I'm not letting you get out of it. I can't go back to Celestia, so it's your job to help me get accustomed to the netherworld. Stop! Get off me! Laharl, something's happened! Edna... Is she up? Yes, she woke up, but she took off somewhere by herself. What? Is she all right? She should be okay. She seemed like her usual self. But she woke up and left without telling anyone where she was going? Well, that's a little mean. True, but that's just Etna being Etna. I bet she'll come back in no time. This isn't acceptable. Hey, Brinny, go find Etna. Aye, aye, dude. Why didn't she come straight to me? Damn it. I was really worried about her, weren't you? We all knew you were all Worry. No! Your eyes were playing tricks on you. I wasn't worried one bit. Yeah, right. Whatever you say, big brother. Absolutely! You don't believe me at all, do you? So, where did Edna go, anyway? Oh, I could think of it. She looked kind of happy as she was leaving. You finally made it back. Don't worry. I'll talk to the prince and get him to pardon you for all that shit you pulled. He said he'll grant me one wish. But in return, you're gonna have to do whatever I say for the rest of my life. You've caused so much trouble, it's only natural you'd have to do that. Now let's go see the prince. Stupid big brother.